my dear students. Hope you all are fine and enjoying my digital lectures. Yes, I'm Priya Supriyan, your mathematics teacher. I warmly welcome you all on the platform of digital academics provided by Moonlight International Publishers. Today, my topic is using AM and PM. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to use AM and PM to record the time from 12 hour clock. So right now, here we go, using a n and p m to record the time from 12 hour clocks. Well, for that reason, read the following statement and answer the question. This is very interesting question and you are going to be very familiar with it. This is the real life situation kind of a, a thing over here. So, Aweis woke up at 6 a.m. and went to school at 8 a.m. He came back from school at 1 p.m. He took lunch at 2 p.m. He went away to play at 4 p.m. and returned at 6 p.m. So what is this? Uh, so this picture is of a man, right? So this person is going to do what? This person is going to enjoy his school days. Okay, so he just wake up in early in the morning and just went to the school and this is the daily life situation of yours as well. So this is, you also follow approximately the same thing. So here we go, what to do for this all kind of situation. So the question is over here, how many hours did Awas study at school? So this is very simple and easy thing. Well, you can just check from the statement which I have told you that Awas went to school at 8 a.m. So here is the clock showing you the time 8 a.m. Now Aves came back from school at 1 p.m. So right now you are going to check the clock. This clock is showing you the time of 1 o'clock. So right now you are going to just do what? Because this is the morning time. In the morning time we are just going to move forward and for move forward you are going to count forward from 8 to 1 from this clock. Okay. So just check and count. After 8, there is 9, then 10, then 11, then 12, and then 1. So, we are going to count. After 8, there is 9, so we are going to consider it 1. After 9, there is 10, we are going to consider it 2. Then 11, we are going to consider it as 3. Then uh, the, the 12th one is the 4th one. And the 1, what about the 1? The 1 is at 5 jump, okay? So, this means that we are going to check that the the basic time there are five hours actually so these are the basic the small needle or the small hand is going to move how many times five times to get the uh, the time when he is going to take off from the school so right now we can say that there are five hours so he studied for five hours at school जी जनाब इस सिचुएशन से आप थोड़ा सा गेस करें कि दे देर वाज यू नो इन द स्टेटमेंट देर वाज एम एंड एम एंड देर वाज आल्सो पीएम आल्सो व्हेन ही जस्ट वेंट टू वेंट आउट टू प्ले इन द पार्क साइड ऑफ थिंग सो इन दिस सिचुएशन व्हाट इज एम एंड पीएम बेसिकली एस आई टोल्ड यू इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑफ माय the time between midnight and noon is referred as anti meridian or basically A stands for anti and M stands for meridian or we just going to say that in small a dot m. So this one is the abbreviation of this and we are going to, to denote it with this thing. So right now if it is in this clock you can just check out the clock. This this clock is showing you the time which is 9 o'clock. In the morning, then we are going to write it as 9 a.m. Okay, clear? Because this is before midnight, you can say that. Or the time between midnight and the noon, actually. The noon time is 12 o'clock, exactly when the sun is above, okay, at peak hours. So right now we are going to say that what about PM? The PM time between noon and midnight. This time is basically between noon and midnight. And that is why this one is referred as post meridian. We are going to denote it with P dot M. It is, you can just check this clock. This clock is showing you it is 9 o'clock in the morning. 
then this is fine. We do write a.m. But if, if this one time is 9 o'clock in the evening or in the night, then you are going to say that we write it as 9p.m because the time is at night time. Because whenever we got uh, in 12 o'clock, we have every time, you know, every number in, in the number starting from 1 to 12, this number, these numbers are repeating two times, okay? So this means that we are going to have 12, two times, 1, two times, and every number in this clock is going to move two times, okay? You need to remember this thing, okay? By considering this, this side one, this one side uh, from the 12 to 6, this side is what? This side is AM side and this side is PM side. So here we go. The example is how many hours are there from the given interval? The first one has been done for you. This is all written over here. So right now we have 1 PM to 8 PM. The time is given 7 hours. So how do we find it out? How to find the things out? In the part B, you can check that from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. What to do? This is the same which we have done in the example of that person which is a wasp. So right now, you are going to just count forward according to the number. The time given in the part A is 1 p.m. Count in the clock according to the clock. After 1, there is 2, yes, then 3, 4, 5, and 6. 7 and 8. So how many hours are here? So how many hours we have right now? We have 5 this one and 2 this one means 7 hours. So this is what is given over here. But this one is very simple and easy question. If the question is a mixed one, for example in the part B you can check there is written 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. So one is in p.m. and the other one is a.m. So don't be confused in it. So here you can just check this one out. There is 9 o'clock showing you over here. So now what to do? The thing over here is very clear, which as I have told you uh, just a just, uh, while before, that this side is a.m. side. And this side is p.m. side. Side starting from the middle one is 12, 12 and 6. You can just check this figure out. This figure is showing you the exact time. The midnight is 12 at night or 12 at night means 12 a.m. And this downward time, this one is whenever this is going to repeat, then the time will be noon time. That is the peak time, which is 12 what? P dot M. So this one is the main concept clearance. You can just check this figure out and for more detail, you can just uh, visit the uh, cut. You can just view the lecture which I have delivered for the class 2 of time. Okay. So right now, you can just, uh, you just want to be clear on this respect. So right now, the time is from counting from the side 9. After 9, we have 10. Yes, 11. 12 and then we are not going to count 13 we are going to count 1 yes 2 and then finally 3 so this means how much is it yes this one this one is 1 2 3 4 5 6 yes so we are going to count forward from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. So we get 6 hours in total so we are going to write 6 over here in this circle so there we are going to be clear that when the intervals from the time are going to record like that. Hope the concept is clear to you guys. We'll get back to you with more interesting concepts of mathematics. Take good care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.